Hey there, so I came out to the Haunted Lake today and it's actually the, the busiest I've ever seen it. Uh, there are a handful of trucks out here. You pretty much need a truck to get down here. I've only seen a few other people on the water. It's a fairly good sized lake, but, but it'll be interesting. But the really fun part is, I don't know if you can see him behind me there, but uh, Ish was out here as well. We just both happened to be coming out here, so we're going to go fishing together and Hopefully he catches a pike and some big bass, and hopefully I catch a few too. So, let's go hit the water. Underway. I told you, that, that's angling with Aaron. Yeah, mine's angling, angling with, Aaron. with Aaron. He watches Joe. Oh, cool. <laughs> yeah, I seen you doing your video for him. Like, all oh, these guys are into this. Like, this is what they're doing. <laughs> Listen, I'm into watching you guys do this stuff. And I, I... Okay. Starting off with the. Uh... Mega Bass, I think it's called the SV3 spinner. Hey man, what was your name again? I missed it. Chuck. Chuck, okay. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Yeah, I just want to follow you guys. Just to, I, I enjoy that. I appreciate it. Tell you what, my first few casts on the uh, new Kistler Helium. Pretty nice. Okay, so now we've switched over to just crankbait. This is the new Money Badger. But it's casting really well on the uh, on the helium SLS combo as well. So I've had a couple hits on the on the spinner bait when I paused it to readjust. It means it's fallen down lower, which taken it to mean the fish are probably a little bit lower as well. I just missed something. This guy didn't even get the bait the right way. Let's see if we can get him unhooked without hooking me. There we go, fish number one. Not very big, but healthy. Another one, number two, crankbait's starting to 
At least it's starting to find them. How's it going today? Oh, beautiful. Beautiful day. How about you? Yep. Also a beautiful day. No crappie though, huh? Nope. Couple bass. Catch anything else? A little one. I've had a couple hits on the spinner bait, but everything, I had a lot more hits and I caught two on a crankbait. Nice. So, because it seems like they're still fairly deep. Um, yeah, it does seem like they're deep. Last week I was catching them really shallow, but it doesn't seem to be the case today. I, I wanted to fish this road bed just to see if maybe I'd catch any, you know, get a pike or something cruising through here. Right. Yeah, I'm thinking this left side's got a little bit of shade too. Yeah. Yeah, just see what happens. Well, I'll fish this little cove back here and I'll make my way over to that next one. Yeah, that next cove is definitely probably worth your time. Okay. Just, just for less snag. Yeah, yeah, I mean, cool. There's trees and stuff, but it's not as bad as back here. Yeah, well, I've never really made it past this area. Oh, yeah? Yeah, so. Yeah, I, I like the next cove. Good bit. Well, I will catch up with you eventually. Sounds good. Good luck. You too, man. Oh, yeah. I'll tell you what, this helium rod is very accurate too. I feel like for the most part I've been able to put it wherever I want to. There's something big right there. I don't know what it was. What's that? I caught a pike. Did you? It was it was small. I would say maybe 17, 18 inches. Yeah. But it was a pike. <laughs> awesome. And I wanted to come tell you because where the road's at, yeah. If you come around this left side, where the road's at, there's a little cove that comes in. Uh huh. Right after that cove, it kind of juts out. That's where I just caught him at. And I wanted to tell you also, last night when Tiff got cut off twice, it was in that same corner. So on your way through. You know, maybe work that pretty good. Yeah. And I'm going to skip over that now. Okay. Because I would like you to catch a pike. Awesome. What'd you catch it on? Spinner or? Uh, swim bait. Swim bait. A okay. little three inch swim bait. Okay. okay. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to head past all that. I'm going to go to that next cove and fish that. Cool. And, and when you're through, definitely work that left shady side. Okay. I've had a couple bites on the wacky worm so far. I had one hooked and he got off. Yeah. I've seen a lot of smaller ones back here. Yeah. Getting crazy. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, and when I caught him, I wasn't working bottom. Okay. I was just kind of slowly pulling it with my kayak, and he hit it, and I like, wasn't even expecting it. Okay. So I don't know if they want something moving then. Yeah. The same thing that happened to Tiff. She was, like, reeling in, and that's when it hit it. Okay. okay. So hopefully, hopefully you can land one. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, Thanks for, for the tip. tip. They're very slimy and hard to hold on to, but... <laughs> And their teeth are sharp. I tried to like hold its mouth open to see its teeth, and I, I definitely got hurt. Big up there. Oh, there we go. Little guy.
different lures but there's only two things that have got them to bite. Oh yeah, what, what, what are you getting them on? Crankbait and the wacky rig. Yeah, it's like the other guys are saying crankbait too. I never tried one but I'm working my swim bait like a Ned rig so okay. that's really what's been working. All I know is it's getting hot and there's no shade anywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm about ready to call it too because it's not like the fishing's been great. Yeah, I think we're we're getting it. We're it's a blend of spawn and pre-spawn right now. Right. And uh, I mean, I'd love to find a couple big ones out of here. But hey, there. So that's going to wrap it up. You know, the SLX on the the Kistler Helium, it, it did really well today. I started with a larger sort of swim bait and ended up throwing a, a fairly small crankbait on it, and it did extremely well. It was the one that caught most of the fish today. Uh, kayak's been a lot of fun. You know, the SLX, I, I think it's phenomenal. I, it, it was, I, I didn't do any dialing in whatsoever. If you want a budget JDM bait finesse reel, I think the SLX is going to be tough to beat. I really had fun with it today. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.